Aloha and like Glenn viewers, we are here at Hershey Park and today we are doing the all day dining plan and here is everything that we got as part of our all day dining plan which will cost you $39.99 this year with tax it's about $42.50 and that's per person and includes an entree and a side, no drink but you can always get water, you need to stay hydrated so all right, here we go. This is our first meal. We went to Nathan's because we were here at the water park and we're rolling with the chicken tenders. The chicken tenders come with Nathan's amazing French fries. So, chicken tenders and fries. Now, if you would have just gotten that without the meal deal, that would have set you back about $18, which you're almost halfway to what you paid for the all day dining pass just with your first meal, which is chicken tenders and fries because Park food is not cheap these days, folks. And these Nathan's chicken tenders and fries are amazing. All right, see you at meal number two. Okay, so about 90 minutes have passed. It's now 12.30 about, and we went back to Nathan's. We love the Nathan's chicken tenders so much. We decided to roll again with the chicken tenders and fries from Nathan's. They are just so good. So that is gonna be our 12.30 meal. And then, yeah, so I guess we're gonna be going to about two and then we can go to another meal. Technically, they were having some issues with their scanning. So they said, we couldn't scan you in so you could go somewhere else to get some food. So we don't have to wait until two technically. But if we want to, we can wait. We'll see where we go next. I really want the, uh, the smokehouse because that's where the good food really is. All right, so for our third meal of the day, we went over to the, uh, the Spring Creek Smokehouse, got me a brisket sandwich. This is a good brisket sandwich. I mean, it's not the best I've ever had, but it is good. And then I also got a nice little piece of cornbread to go with it. They also have like mashed potatoes and mac and cheese and stuff like that, coleslaw. I rolled with these two things, because I thought PJ would like the cornbread, but he didn't. He wasn't a fan of the cornbread. I think cornbread's good but the brisket sandwich is, is pretty good. So that is our third meal of the day. All right, we are up to meal number four, and we are here at Dispatch Pizzeria. I told PJ he could pick out this meal because a little full still from the brisket and stuff. PJ's rolling with the pepperoni flatbread pizza. Now, it looks delicious, it looks good. Now, the thing with this though, if you get the pizza, you don't get a side item. So you could have got chicken strips and garlic knots, which look pretty good. But if you get the pizza, there's no side here. So we just went with the pizza. And in 90 minutes, we'll hit up something else. PJ, you gonna, you gonna give it a go and see how it is? You gonna rate it? All right, let's see. Pepperoni flatbread. All right, you guys take one more bite. It's good. So zero to five, that's the rule. A four out of five, that's a pretty dang good score for pepperoni pizza. All right, let's see where we're gonna head for meal number five. All right, meal number five. We're back here up towards the front of the park. We went to the 1906 grill. And bottom line, when you get this meal deal, you're gonna get lots of chicken tenders. So meal number five is chicken tenders, but we got the cheese turds. Oh, cheese curds, okay. These are pretty good. These cheese curds are pretty amazing. So I'm gonna eat the cheese curds. PJ's gonna roll the chicken tenders. That's our meal number five. What are we gonna get meal number six? Maybe more chicken tenders, I don't know. But you're getting a crap ton of chicken tenders. All right, for our final meal of the night, we went to Moe's Southwest Grill. I got a burrito bowl. PJ's eating my uh, chips and salsa. How are they? Good. All right, this bowl better be worth it because I just waited a super long time for this stupid bowl. So hopefully it's worth it. We'll see. Dudley, that was the last footage we took. That was the last meal that we had over at the Moe's Southwest. Um, I really enjoyed their bowl. I thought it was really good. PJ tore up my freaking chips and salsa. How are the chips and salsa? They were really good. Yeah. Like super good, crunchy. The salsa was like. Yeah, they had. They did have pretty good salsa. It was almost like a little bit like a pico. It was kind of like a chunky sort of salsa, um, but it, it was delicious. So, the Moe's 
the wait though, we waited like 45, 50 minutes or something for that stupid meal. So ugh, I don't know if it was worth that kind of wait, but it was still good. Um, now overall, we got a lot of meals, a lot of value. So most of those meals that we got were upwards of 17 to $18 per meal. And we ended up getting, what, we got six meals? Yeah, I think so. So we definitely got our money's worth for the $40. And you can easily split it with someone as long as, you know, you're willing to, you know, share some food. You can easily split one meal deal between two people. You're not supposed to do that, but hey, it worked out for us. Had tons of chicken tenders. Hershey Park does a pretty good chicken tenders. How would you rank the chicken tenders, zero to five? 4.2. 4 4.2. The Nathan's one are definitely the, the go-to tenders if you go towards either the front. I believe they opened Nathan's up in the front of the park as well. And there's one in the um, the water park. Hit up the Nathan's for those those tenders, man. They're banging. Their fries are really good, too. And, yeah, I mean, the smokehouse, that's going to be your best deal for the money. Get that brisket sandwich, or I always get the, the half chicken too. That's that's pretty good. Or the uh, the turkey leg, that's really good. They have got some really good stuff at the smokehouse. PJ's banging on the tenders, and I say you can go to some other places like Moe's or the smokehouse or the 1906 Grill for some other things. It's it's good eating. So anyway, that's everything we ate at Hershey Park on our day there, and I'm sure we're gonna get the meal plan again because it's still a great value even without the drink. Sad they don't get the drink anymore, but hey, it's cool. All right, well, let us know what you ate at Hershey Park because they do have some good food. PJ, um, going to sign off now. Anything you want to add? Uh, not much. All right, well, enjoy your Hershey Park happy day. Aloha, everybody. Peace.